Everything okay? Everything's great. Uh, have you, this is kind of a, a weird question, have you oh. been missing any junk mail from your home? <laughs> Probably. Uh, this is what? bizarre. What? There's Why a guy who actually, this is actual junk mail, ladies and gentlemen, to Melissa Etheridge. No. Uh, there is a guy who is, works on our staff, who now I guess is like house sitting at the house that you used to live in, assuming that's your, is that your old address? <laughs> if you peek through the black, you can kind of see, is that? Oh yeah. There you have it. This is your mail. I'm delivering Thank mail to you. you. From me to you. Let's see what it is. Let's do it. <laughs> well, this is kind of exciting here. We're going to open it's, it up it's, right it's, here. It's... Oh, they're naked pictures. My goodness. What the... Oh, you're in this luxury performance sedan. Ah, okay. <laughs> we oh, don't well. do car commercials here. No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, so anyway, you have that. Uh, they told me uh, that you're doing a, a big uh, upcoming benefit for uh, for the King, for Elvis Presley. Elvis, yeah, they called, said, hey, they're doing a, a thing in Memphis at the big um, pyramid thing there. It's a big, it's a big arena. It's a big mm -hmm. pyramid, and, and everyone, I mean, everyone from the Judds to Aerosmith, I think, is is doing this and. I love Elvis Presley, so it's October 8th, and mm -hmm. it's going to be quite a fun. Mm -hmm. blast. Now, are you, have you always been a fan of his, or how did you get associated with this particular gig? Do you have to be a longtime uh, admirer of the King? No, I don't think you have to be a longtime admirer of the King, although I have been. Uh -huh. Although I have even, I, I grew up in, in like the 60s and the 70s, and, and uh, went through his strange, you know, period, went through the Vegas period where he was really weird, but then... Kind of some weird stuff it, it happening was, it there was. with but the then, But then when you go back into, you know, the past and what he did, he was an amazing yeah. rock performer. He was, he was exciting, he was humorous, he was, you know, what rock and roll was, and you'd watch him move, and I'd, I'd think, I want to do that, I want to... Uh-huh, Right. <laughs> I did. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, no, find, find a rock and roll artist who, who isn't you know, uh, in, inspired by him. I don't think I, that's I guess possible. that's it. I mean, there's a lot of jokes and stuff, but the, the, the king or the Elvis that, that uh, was of the 60s is really, mm -hmm. I guess, pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Yeah, absolutely, I think. Mm -hmm. I, uh, so when are you, what else are you going to do there? Are you just going to be playing? I, I get to do the song Burn in Love. Mm -hmm. Burn in, hunk a hunk of burn in love. Hunk -a, I, I really asked me, what do you want to sing? I said, I want to sing I'm a hunk of hunk Why that song? Just, it... I thought it would be too hard to do the like the the fifties like jailhouse rock or those the ones that you you visually see you know Elvis doing it and you know he really, he really has his mark. Burning Love is a great song actually, and I really wanted the opportunity to sing I'm a hunk of hunk of burning love. Yeah. I just wanted to do that. I think that's everybody's secret yeah. fantasy to to sing those <laughs> lyrics. Uh, where are you going to see Michael? I, uh, Michael and Lisa Marie are going to be there too, right? Yes, and they're supposed to sing some. Yeah. I'm, I'm still just. Well, they're, they're doing a duet, are they? I'm just twisted about this whole thing. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean twisted? I'm... What are your thoughts on this? <laughs> what are Melissa Etheridge's thoughts on this? I don't know. You know, I want to think that it's love. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, but just, I, I am excited to go there and see what they're going to do. I was actually at the MTV Awards where she, they, he laid that big he, wet kiss on her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? <clears throat> Just a moment of silence. Yeah. Uh, now, let's see. I guess this uh, summer they, you toured with the, uh, the Eagles. Mm. Must have been fantastic. And you did Woodstock. Can you give us any idea how great Woodstock was, or was it all hype, no <laughs> substance? I have had a fabulous summer, first of all. I did nine shows with the Eagles, where I was performing in, in Texas Stadium and the Tiger Stadium and 50,000 people, and it was fabulous. And then... How, how did they, by the way, I didn't see the show. Uh -huh. I, did, they, uh, did they all get along, or was there a lot of infighting? And you probably couldn't tell us if there was anyway. Well, <laughs> no, I'll tell you, they, they really kept everything on a, on a great level because they don't see each other at all. Mm -hmm. They come and do the show, and I think they see each other on stage, and that's about it. They all, they all have their separate cars, <laughs> their separate dressing rooms. I didn't even see them. I did yeah. nine shows with them. I didn't say a word to any of them. People get along so well, so well when they don't they have don't to see each talk. other. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's smart, actually. Uh, and then Woodstock? Oh, and then I went to Woodstock, yeah. And I actually went in thinking, okay, whatever. Yes, it's corporate. Yes, there's money making. Yes, they're going to market it 
you know, down to the keychains, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I want to go. I want to do this. But the, you were a little cynical going in, though. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I stayed open to it and going, you know, I, I'm going to have a good time no matter what. I went. We had to take, we, we drove, we drove from Albany in our bus to this extra special secret spot, site, where, where they picked us up in a van, which later I, I learned was a, a Mooney camp. Mm. One of the... You remember the Moonies? Yeah. No. No. No, the Moonies, you know, Reverend oh, Sung Young oh, Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that bizarre cult. Yeah, yeah, yes. This is one of their sure. camp. No, they, I swear, I swear to you, this is what they did. They took us, we took a bus to this Mooney camp where they picked us up in a van that drove us to a boat. And the boat drove us down the Hudson. Oh, come on. I swear, I this swear. Is... To another van that drove us into the back way to Woodstock. Uh-huh. And I got there. It, 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 was, it was a fabulous day. <laughs> That's how <laughs> Carter got to Haiti, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. This was in lieu of taking the helicopter. Oh, I, I, I didn't want to take the helicopter. But um, we got there, and there was such a great feeling. There was 300,000 people that were together to have fun and listen to music, and it's great. Mm -hmm. And I had a blast. I was a, I was a little bitty part of this. I really felt small mm -hmm. <laughs> in front of this large of an audience. But... It was a really good feeling, and it was very well done and very well put together. And you did uh, Janis Joplin, uh, some Janis Joplin. I did. Selections. I got to perform for an hour. I did about 40 minutes of my own stuff, mm -hmm. and then the last 20 minutes, I did a, a Joplin medley where I did four of her songs. You know, it just occurred to me, here I am asking you all these questions, and I could call the Melissa Etheridge hotline. <laughs> now, are you aware of the this? Melissa Etheridge uh, information, information hotline. Are you aware of this? In your CD. Of course I am. Very good CD. Inside here, it actually tells you Little thing how, falls out. how to call. This falls out. This is the thing. First sign that you should call the Melissa after you're going to try to call. Well, come on, let's just. No, what do you say? But you don't have the secret. Come on. You this don't, is easy. You don't have the secret special number. We joined the club. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing. What, gets you, ha you have to uh, join uh, the club. That was about two hundred and seventy dollars. No, it wasn't. And, no, Fifteen dollars. All right. Uh, <laughs> and this is this is what you get. This did. is the official Melissa Etheridge oh. Information Network. If you're an Information Network member, press one. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I have to I have to press these buttons because I don't want to give away my secret special information <laughs> line. Now, how how did you guys uh, how did you how, how did you set this up or did you uh, why did you set this up? You want to know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I really set it up because what the fans requested was to get information on where I was performing and information on getting tickets. And they just wanted to know. I didn't want to just do a, a fan mail thing. And this is something that, that they can call immediately, find out where I'm playing, and they can get uh, preferred seating to it, which meant a lot to me. The rest is just fun. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's not working. Oh. It worked fine. I pressed the wrong buttons or something. I couldn't get through. I couldn't get through. I couldn't. I tried. I couldn't get through. Uh, we're going to do a quick commercial break. I'll try to correct the problem at the commercial break. We'll come back. We'll be back right after.